Welcome everyone. Our first guest today is an incredible person. He is Naga's first rapper. He is an event and artist manager and also an entrepreneur. Please let's welcome Imli Lee. Hi Imli. Hi, hello. Thank you so much for having me there. Uh, I'm thrilled to be in your talk show, you know. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you so much for accepting the invitation and I'm really excited that you're here because I have a lot of things to talk with you. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm looking forward to, you know. So, <laughs> let's hope it goes right, well. Right. Yeah. So, let's hope, let's hope. I just want to take this conversation to another level, you know, just a different level. Mm, yeah. Okay, so starting off, I just gotta say that your collab with Anand Nanti called Genesis mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> was very refreshing and there was a lot of engagement. So tell us about the song. I just want to know about the song. Uh, well, the song was, uh, we were supposed to shoot the video with uh, another production team, but unfortunately the, the one that we were having talks with, uh, they felt, you know, they caught up with the uh, COVID. So at the last moment, we had to look for another production team, and that's why in a very short time we uh, got all of the you know the team who, whom we shot with. And I think it was just a matter of days. So we had no prior plans, you know, what to shoot, how to how the scenes were going. So it was just it was just uh, on the spot. We did everything on the spot. So we called friends to help us out with the with the, with the video and all that. So it wasn't much of a you know. Uh, work but hopefully we'll do much better next time and Onan she's a she's a very uh, what to say she's full of enthusiasm she wants to learn new things every now and then so she she was always like you know she wanted to do a song so we took up the opportunity to you know uh, let her try rapping and, and that's how the song you know, came together yeah <laughs> Genesis yeah yeah I mean I mean it came out amazing honestly I was just checking out your video the the album Genesis a while ago and it, it came out amazing. Well, what is the story behind the song? I mean the lyrics and all. Uh, I, the song I think I, think I just wrote the song at the studio. I completed the song at the studio, so it was just about my transition, you know, from from uh, you know from a young boy who who used to you know struggle, you know. The first verse is about that, and then it went on to you know it, it just three verses. I have three verses in the song, so. The first verse is about me being a young boy and how it all started. The second verse is about uh, just about you know taking back from music, but you know coming back again. And the third verse is just about uh, you know giving a message to the society, you know. And then on and concluded with a good message at the end of the song. So the song is all about that. Yeah, yeah. It came out incredible, and I was yeah. so you know in awe. And then you are also the Naga's first, first Naga rapper. So when did you first start rapping? Mm, I think, uh, I don't know, there will be a lot of discussion when it comes to being the first rapper. I think there were there were few of us, like you know, but we were. I was also one of the first. So I have like seniors uh, who have, you know, uh, been there rapping when I was starting out. You know, so. Uh, we were very few of us back then. Uh, I started out like uh, I think it was in '99, 2000, like that. You know, I got interest. Cool. Yeah. So I think most of you viewers will be uh, not even born by then. But I was also a kid then. Like you know, I was in my <laughs> <laughs> I was like yeah, 12, yeah. 12, 11, 12, like that. But yeah, I took interest in music. Uh, you know, I got inspired uh, to listen to hip hop music just because of my love for poetry. I love to write poetry, you know. I, I used to write a lot of poetry back then. So that is how I got interested in rap music because rap is all about rhythm and you know all the uh, mm -hmm. yeah, all this so Yeah. I think w w w when you started raving I was just a year old. I was oh. born in ninety eight. And you said <laughs> that you started raving yeah, in ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> like ninety nine thousand I guess. Yeah. Because Rapping is all about poetry, it's rap and poetry, you know, so... Poetry no, you, 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 mm. Yeah, you started out so young, like, I mean, you must have been the pressure of, you know, 
just rap. Like, I mean, in the days, back in the days, Naglin, there were no rappers at all. Nah. So, like, starting out rapping at a very, in the 90s, mm -hmm. must have been hard. I was a kid back then, you know. I, I was still in my uh, middle school. But every, you know, every, every opportunity that I get, I used to uh, do rap songs and all that. And, and also, uh, you know, during my studies, notes used to be a little lengthy, so I used to turn songs, I mean, I used to turn my uh, lessons into songs, and that's how I used to memorize my lessons. <laughs> oh, oh my god, the best way to study, the best yeah. way to study. And then, uh, I mean, you started out rapping, and then there were a few of you guys who were also rappers, but when did you get to the point when you were individually referred to, to as first Naga rapper? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I can't take the tag for being the first, first rapper mm -hmm. because before me, I, you know, people have already, uh, people already recorded their singles before I even recorded mine. Because I was mm -hmm. a student, I, I, I had no financial support with me and also I, I didn't record my song until 2007. But there were many before me, like we have uh, Asale, we have Virong, Jay, you know, they recorded much earlier, you know, I think three, four years ahead of me. Uh, but they are much senior to me. So, yeah, I was still in high school, you know, when they were mm -hmm. already recording songs. Because I was a mm -hmm. student and because I didn't have financial support, I did my recording a little uh, late. But yes, I started stage performance much earlier and then that's how it took off, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you have had an incredible journey. I mean, there must have been ups and downs, but you know, uh, starting uh, doing something that you really love and then just, you know, being here at this point, you like sitting there or doing something that you really love is really something that everybody should do. And then how was your journey, like starting out your rapping and then being here to this point? How do you feel? Mm. It's it's a it's a struggle even even till now. I mean, I cannot consider myself a full time rapper, you know, because I'm I'm more into uh, like events now. I I like to uh, what is it do events, calls, you know, all that. So I'm not much of a rapper now because I'm not full time. But uh, yeah, if I if I have to tell you about the beginning, it was always hard because those days there were no platform for us, you know, and there was no social media, and the only stage that we get was uh, doing uh, you know variety shows or doing uh, you know those days instead of uh, rap songs, people were into um, this thing called b boy, you know, dancing uh, this dance competition. So during you know, during that break. During break, I used to go and take stage and perform for them, you know, all that. So, it was a struggle. And these days it's easier because you have social media and you have lots of platforms, YouTube, you have YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, you can just promote your yourself, your, your songs and your talents. But back then it was a struggle. And I think the only platform that we got was variety shows or church programs and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It must have been a struggle back then, but it's amazing that you've come this far just not having the platform and then just being here. That's a huge achievement and it's amazing. So in one of your singles called Homecoming, you also yeah. collab with yeah. Mengu Shakri. How was yeah, the experience Mengu. of working with her? Yes, uh, I think that, that was my second time collaborating with Mengu Shakri. You know. uh, first of all, we did the song called uh, Rest in Peace. That was back in 2016. And then last year we did the song called Homecoming. You know. Uh, my dream, like you know, is to work with as much people as possible. You know, till now I've I think collaborated with about sixteen or seventeen people. So you know, when I hang my boots, when I hang down my you know uh, cap, you know, I want to be the man who has collaborated with the most Naka artists. That's what I want. And yes, yeah, yeah. Mengu <laughs> Shuka is a pleasure to work with, as as well as all the collabor collaborations that I've had. Everyone has been a source of inspiration and you know, along the way, everyone that I've worked with has inspired me in one way or the other and it's always a pleasure working with so many talented people and I'll look forward to working with many more again. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, 
Mango Shukri is also a great actress and also a great singer and then you collabing with her for the homecoming. The song came out amazing, yeah. okay, I saw it. And then yeah, I you. loved it, I loved I think, it. Yeah, I think the... And then... Yes. Yes. You tell me, you tell no, me. No, no, I think the, place, the song holds a very special place in my heart. It's, uh, it's a gospel, it's a gospel, you know. I don't know if you, if mm, you, if you yeah. listen to the lyrics or not, but it's, it's like homecoming, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like about one mm -hmm. person realizing things and coming back to Lord, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you know, like, uh, church is our base. You know, that's where we started singing. I'm sure mm -hmm. you also did started yes. in church, yeah. Nah? And then yeah. just the song represents gospel, it's like homecoming, nah? And the word home itself means base. Yeah. Your baseline. So I think mm -hmm. uh, the word, uh, yeah. the, the, the title of the song, homecoming. It's also really impactful that you know you wanna just go back to your base and then just you know representing that. So it, it was a good song. Thank you, and you got it. You got it really uh, right. So that's all. <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> and then, if I am wrong, please correct me. But I think you've also won Nagaland Music Award back in 2012. Yeah, I think it was. 2011 and 12, I think, I think two years or three years I won. Uh -huh. yeah. And since then, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I joined the team and I'm working with them now. I'm working with the team of uh, right. North Island. Yeah. So, yeah, that is, that is, yeah. that is so why like, I took yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, I'm yes. <laughs> so, like, what was your reaction winning the award? What uh, were you feeling that time? I don't know. I mean, winning an award is... is it's okay, but even being nominated, you know, in an, in an award, so that's 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 a big thing. So winning was obviously a very good thing, but even being nominated with so many artists was was already a big mm -hmm. thing for me. So yeah, it's all good. So. It must have been over. It must have been overwhelming for you. I'm sure. Yeah, I was was much younger then, so mm -hmm, of course. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, these days, in this generation, in Nagaland especially, who would say that I was this young and I won an award? And then you were very young back then, nah? 2012, yeah. 11, yes, yes. pretty young, pretty young. Yeah, I think I was like, in my 19 or 20 years. Mm -hmm. So imagine that, like winning an award at that age, an achievement. <laughs> oh my yeah. goodness. I started off very young. Yeah, it's you good. did, you did. And then the, the, there are now so many uh, rappers like Moko Koza and few again, few in the line. I think they are doing great. I, I think you've laid down the path of how rapping should go and then that's how they're taking on the legacy, I'm sure. Uh, I don't know. I, I've known them uh, since my, uh, you know, since social media came into being. I mean, yeah. so they, they've been my friend, listen, we've, we've always had the uh, Good connection, uh, not just local closer, but so many other rappers like Big Dane. And, and now, so many youngsters have come up and they are they're taking their the hip hop forward. They're doing so well, you know. I'm so proud of all of them and just looking forward to maybe work with, with them someday, you know. Right, right, right. And then you you are also an event and an artist manager. But first, let's talk about your events. What kind of events do you manage or uh, organize? We do shows, we do live shows, you know, concerts and all that. Uh, yeah, and also I, I have, uh, I'm working with the music out of Madeline and have also worked with so many uh, live concerts. We are behind so many live concerts, you know, we have organized so many live concerts. You know. And also I've, I've hosted several uh, shows, I host uh, music out of Madeline. And also, uh, I hosted a, a duration show called Magic Plus once upon a time, 2013, I think, yeah. So, <laughs> and Miss Dimapur, Miss Kohima, but yeah. I tried, I tried my hands in everything, you know. Jack of all threats, but master of Yeah. <laughs> 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 I I totally agree with you. I think like we should try all the flavors in the world and see whichever suits yeah, you yeah. best. No, exactly. just with, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it must have been pressuring and exciting to you know ma manage events, hosting events. I'm sure you had fun. 
yeah, it was all part of the journey, learning process, you know. So mm -hmm. I'm still excited. Mm -hmm. Even even yeah, I'm still excited even till this day, you know, to do something mm -hmm. new and something, you know, fun. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, now let's talk about you organizing. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Uh, sorry, you being an artist mm -hmm. manager. Like, what kind of artist do you? Uh, upcoming artists. I like to push forward the new talents. You know, when I see a new artist coming up, uh, it's not like I, I fully manage them, but I, I give them the right direction. I give, I give them, uh, like, you know, a recording, you know, video making, and all that. So I, I guide them towards bettering themselves. You know, because you know. Those days, there was nobody to push us or you know uh, guide us. But I feel that if someone is there for the youngsters to show them the right direction and you know just to uh, be an elder brother to them, I think it will help them in the long run. So yeah, what I missed out on, I'm, I'm giving it to someone else. I'm yeah, mm -hmm. I'm giving the chance. Right, right. I think yeah, that is so true because I feel like the youngsters, you know upcoming artists in whatever field they are in i think they need a lot of guidance and then you being experienced in that field and then managing and guiding them on how they should go about i, I think that's really amazing i mean i love it so yes and yeah, thank you you love your job I'll, i do love it yeah yeah i mean at the end of the day it, it all comes to whether you love your job or not so i think mm, yeah. everybody should love their job yeah mm -hmm. My money and is then, not an issue, by the way. Money is never an issue. Uh, I mean, like, I get yeah. nothing out of it, but I just love to do it. So I'm doing it for the love of just doing it, not for the money. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. The spirit, I like that spirit. Uh, you must have worked on so many projects, which I don't know about. <laughs> but I just mm -hmm. want to ask, which project was your favorite? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, working with Sony. Projects and stuff like that. I think, I think my most favorite will always be shooting music videos. You know, it's always fun mm -hmm. because yeah, you never know the outcome. You know, you have to wait. You have to wait and you know, uh, see how the project rolls out. So I think, I think making a video project, not just for myself but even for other artists, is always mm -hmm. the most exciting. Interesting, no? yeah. Yeah, indeed, indeed, very much. Mm -hmm. And I just gotta ask this again, what is your inspiration behind the things that you do? Being an event manager, being an artist manager, rapping, like what is your inspiration behind doing all the things that you're doing? I think inspiration, my, maybe I'll say motivation, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Motivation is to see, uh, what to say, is to see good artists come out from Nagaland and represent us in a bigger platform, you know? Uh, for us, our generation, you know, me or my peers, my my uh, age groups, you know, our time is I think limited now. We cannot go further. So, but what we can do is we can give chance to the younger generation, you know, to go where places we haven't been and, and and to show the talent to the world. So, whatever project I do, it's not just for myself. But it's it's I like to you know work towards uh, building, paving the way for my younger generation. Yes. Definitely. I, right. hope I, I hope I answered your question, otherwise I can just go back and, you know. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Perfect answer. <laughs> On that note, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back.